Okay, again, a sterile technique. We haven't changed. I wouldn't have changed my gloves. I would have done it all at once. But now we're in our fast, uh, last phase. So welcome back to uh, Charlotte, North Carolina. We're in the last phase of our suture suspension facelift. Phase one, we did injectable RF, undermine, liquefied the fat, tightened the FSN. Now we've got the melted cheese of our grilled cheese lift. Number two, we did injection um, soft tissue filler. Number three, neuromodulator uncoupled depressors from elevators. Now number four, section four, the last section, suture suspension craniofacial fixation. Okay, so here's our young lady. Let's zoom in so we see from here to here. Mm -hmm. And what do I want to achieve? Show me the bottom of the face, perfect. And zoom, no, no, here, to, you guys zoom out, just perfect, 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 nice. We want to get this, that's what we want, right there. See the shift in her, Mailer fat pad, jowl, and jawline. That's what we want. So I want some suture that goes right in her temporal tuft. And right in here, I can see, can, wow, what a good surgeon. Can hardly even see the scar there. But I want to place it right where there's a little fibrosis or smash. And I want to get this, get that nice elevation, lift that up. OK, so how do we do it? Real simple. I have a port. Port creator, back to our 16 gauge we used before for Accutite. And I go right where I want to grab the tissue. And I go down just below the incision and I grab some smash right there. Some deeper tissue. No risk to the frontal temporal branch, which is here. Superficial temporal artery is there. Very safe in that temporal tuft. I want to grab some tissue. Now, what am I going to grab it with? This is our, zoom out just a little bit there. This is our dual-armed PDO molded max. There is 42 centimeters of length, 21 centimeters on each side. The center, the principle of bidirectionals is that the middle of the suture has no barbs and all the barbs or cogs are pointing back to the center of the suture. So I take one limb, I take one limb and I pass that up to my assistant. I take a snap and I snap the center of the suture with no cogs right there. I take the second limb, remove the six inch Keith needle, and now we have our product. And so if you look at our product, we have two, hang on to both, two sutures. We have 21 centimeters, 21 centimeters, 